Damn, look at this sensitivity, man. Oh, crap. Wait, this, this ain't me. Who's this? Who's this? Is this Barry? We got Barry. This ain't me, man. The sensitivity is too slow, man. Oh, God. Anyway, guys. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. It's Monday. Going for builds for subs. It's a series where I log into your account on PS4 and I make you a build. Now, if you're on PS4 and you want me to make you a build, any sort of build, PvE, PvP, first thing you got to do is follow me on Twitter and message me, hashtag addiction builds. That's all you got to do and I'll put you on the list and then every Monday I make you a build and I showcase it in a video. So today, man, we're just going to see what type of build he wants. He did say he wanted like a, some sort of PvP build just to keep him alive and to still hit hard. So we're going to go straight to his stash, but before we do that, we're just going to say hello to... um. What's her name again? I even forgot her name, man. It's, there's been too many I've been around with recently, you know, so it's got to keep that on a little bit. Anyway, let's get into the stash. Okay, so before I get into recalibrating and completing a build for this subscriber, I just want to say it was really, 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 really hard to get, you know, the right pieces and to see what sort of attributes I wanted on the build for him because I was trying to make a full armor crit build. Now, you guys have seen that on my channel, and the reason why I wanted to make him this is because he asked for something that can, you know, survive but still hit hard. So, of course, that's what I'm going to go towards, and that's kind of my play style, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind me doing that. So, that's what I was going for, but some of the pieces, it just wasn't it, and the attributes of roles were already recalibrated. Some pieces I didn't want to touch because it was part of his builds, and, you know, other attributes has already been recalibrated I literally just couldn't change much pieces so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the recalibration station and we're gonna recalibrate the pieces that i know and i think is right to change so obviously this one has got weapon damage and we've got crit chance crit damage in here with efficient so we want armor so we're gonna change the top attribute to 170k armor of course because that's what we want so that's decent and for the mask we're gonna change that to armor too because that's what we want again now if we look at our build we're sitting at 1.1 million armor now for some of these pieces we can't recalibrate for example this one i can't change for armor this one i can't change for armor and there's no other knee pads that i can literally you know recalibrate to change that for the glove, we've got armor regen and status effects. Now, of course, what I would do to this, I would put armor, crit damage, crit chance. We can't do that right now. So we're going to keep armor on top. We're going to change the status effects to crit damage. So let's just go to the glove and change that now. I'm going to change status effects to crit damage. Okay, that's decent. And now for the backpack. I'm gonna change the top attribute to armor. Now, the reason why I'm saying to do this and not to put crit damage over the skill haste attribute is because we just wanna be more tanky and because we have four reds, let's change that to three reds, three blues, just to make balance and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna tell him the changes and stuff that he needs to make towards this build to make it, you know, absolutely way better than this and to basically just finish it off, I will make sure I tell him what to do. Now, let's just go to our stats because that's the important part of this build. We want to see what we're hitting for. Now, on the vector, the Dark Wind Torch is a named one, which gives us perfect killer. We're sitting at 60% crit chance and 145% crit damage. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to the build. We want to go to the mod slots here on the mask and we want to change this for crit damage because we are maxed out on our crit chance so 11.2 percent crit damage have we got any higher ones okay so it looks like 11.2 is the highest i'm going to change that there and then for the chest piece we got crit chance in here but let's just take this crit chance mod off and i'm going to go to the stats sorry let's go to the stats and check we're still at 60 without that crit chance mod so that's good and now we're going to change the crit chance mod to a crit damage mod. So let's see if we got any more 11%. Yes, we do. That one there. And for the backpack, we're going to put another crit damage mod over that. Now let's see. 11.1. Okay, we got 11.1 there. I didn't see that one. All right. So let's go to the stats now. Now we're sitting at 178% crit damage, which is okay. I'm pretty happy with that. But if we were sitting at full armor, then it would be nice. This would be really nice. And that's what he needs to do. Now, the main changes on the build, I'm going to explain to you guys now. More crit damage and crit chance on this chest piece would be nice. And for the mask, happy with that. I mean, obviously, the rolls can be better, but this is just a template. For the bag, 
what I would change on here, I would put versatile and then I would change my weapons from SMG to assault rifle. So you can switch between the two and you're going to get that extra 35% on the SMG and that extra 10% on the AR. So that's how I would do that for the backpack because companion, you're not really going to be wanting that with a build like this. And for example, you're going to need like a defender drone with you all the time to proc companion or like a hive. So that's that's the bad thing because people can just jam that straight away. But we got a jammer on here as well, so that's good. And for the glove, Sokolov glove, as I said before, you could change it for you know crit chance instead of armor regen. But we're max crit chance, so we don't really need that. The main thing you do to this glove is change the weapon damage to armor. That's what we need. We don't need weapon damage on the build if we're gonna be you know wanting to survive and hit hard. Knee pad is fine, but again, what we're gonna do to the top attribute, we're gonna change that for armor. And for the holster, what are we gonna change to this? We're gonna change it to armor. So that's basically it, guys. I mean, you've seen my build to this kind of playstyle, and you've seen how it hits. It does hit hard, especially with high armor and crits. I mean, who doesn't want to have you know armor and still hit hard? Everyone wants some sort of build like that, and that's why I kind of tried to go towards something like this. So some of you might ask, why have I gone for efficient on the chest piece? I know it's not that good right now, but still efficient with the firewall specialization still keeps you alive and it does help with the hills it's not extremely op but it still does help a lot so i do suggest that if you're trying to survive i mean unbreakable is nice but with incoming repairs nerf it's not as good as it was before so i would take efficient over that some of you guys are wondering what pieces you need for these type of builds you need a three piece provenance and i'm going to explain to you why you need that that's because of the 10 percent crit chance and the 15 percent crit damage you also need two piece Sokolov. Why do you need that? Because of the extra 15% crit damage you're getting from just having two pieces. And you need a grouper piece. Why do you need a grouper piece? Because it gives you 15% crit damage. So all of these crit damage stats and everything and all the attributes around the build is what's making this build hit for 178%. So yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the way I made this template. This is for sure a template. I would not suggest him going in the dark zone with this right now, especially how Bulwark is and all of that. I wouldn't suggest him going straight into PvP with this. He's got to work on it. He's got to farm. He's got to get his credits up. He's got to get them materials and just make sure that he can take this build without any stress. So yeah, man. I mean, this was fun today. This was fun. It gave me a challenge because it was very, very difficult to figure out what sort of pieces he has and what sort of pieces I can change and make towards the build to make it at least a decent template so yeah guys if you want me to make your build and you're on ps4 just make sure you do the one thing follow me on twitter and send me a message hashtag addiction builds and i'll put you on the list after that we will make you the build here every monday and yeah man we can get straight into it i can make you any sort of build you want pve or pvp so just let me know hit me up if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification we got a gameplay video coming this week and a build video so keep your eyes open for that and if you enjoyed this video and you like this series make sure you hit the like button let's get 100 plus likes the reason why i asked for that is so then i know you guys are enjoying the series and i'm going to keep it rolling if you guys are liking it it's been division addiction peace